the hot cops hacking away at the. Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's handpicked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, fellas. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. Hopefully, I become a fed sometime. I like you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine. What if you can skip cases by doing better in other cases? Like if you can get a promotion earlier, something like that. Okay, I didn't do that well. <laughs> Another case, huh? We tracked it. The Your platoon is what remains of recon, holding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damn hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill jabs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, <laughs> Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I'll never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Alta Collar Bridge. That guy's got no fear. <laughs> you give him some morphine? Oh, is that a grenade? You didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. Oh. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with I that? I know that guy. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circle to hell, we have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! Oh, that guy. That, that's the doctor from the papers. The guy that's trying to be a doctor. I want to have him as my doctor. Well, I guess he did a good... I guess he, I guess he did put out him, out, him out of his misery. You could have just sh shot him, though. The setup. Ooh. Funny that he doesn't smoke. Like at a time where pretty much everyone smoked. <laughs> it's strictly a mug's game. You'll like this fight though. A plucky lime is about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got fifty bucks on the black skin. Something's gonna happen here. Let's get a ringside seat. Oh man, that guy is badass. Look at him. His muscles. <coughs> He's pounding him. Can't tell who's winning right now. That guy's not taking, he's not hitting any punches. Oh, God. Everyone was voting for the other guy, huh? They all had bets on him. <laughs> that son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert, you get out here right now! Step back, LAPD. 
that son of a bitch him and has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. You were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. Oh, he's gone. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. It was big money riding on So are we here because you lost money? Or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? We'll go by the pinball. Second from the end. Hmm. There's a phone number we can run by R and I. There's a bunch of names, Oz. You're not the only one who likes to flutter, Roy. That's it. <coughs> that was the paper there. Another one? <laughs> I don't think this is it. It's in the paper. Let's see if this story continues. Elena is to Fontaine working selflessly to help the infirm. Or infirm. some of the guys in my old unit into doing something and it's gone wrong I guess I did it for the wrong reasons for short term gain we came home from China on the cool bridge Mostly robbery. that was us oh I thought I could give the guys a fair share some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Corp. But they deserve it aren't always reward. Tell me about it, Doc. Like we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Corp. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. Rest assured that it will all be medically administered. Yeah. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of properties. Your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. Mm. <laughs> 